Hi, this is Amy Lewis with Pop-Up Tech Talks. I'm here with Dan. Dan, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Dan Garfield. I'm the VP of Marketing and a full stack developer for CodeFresh. Um, okay, which is it? Are you the marketer or are you the engineer? Do the glasses make the difference, like uh, Clark Kent? <laughs> no, I'm always 100% both. <laughs> All right, this is going to get interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we were having a conversation about the importance containers have for developers. And I, I would love to hear, yeah, you know, if there's a slider bar between dev and ops, where do containers land? Yeah, so it's, I think it's actually really interesting. When you think about containers, a lot of people compare them to something like uh, a VM. So a lot of people come from VMware, and they think Docker is just kind of like that, but maybe it's more nimble or something like that. Uh, but what's interesting is that Docker ends up being very, very useful for engineers to use. Uh, and so you see this big split in the Docker community between the ops people who are really just interested in kind of managing the artifacts and then the engineers who are interested in sort of playing around with different compositions of microservices. Um, and Docker really facilitates that. It makes it easy to change your composition, uh, pull in different services, define how all those work together, um, and ultimately do testing you know, much earlier uh, make your application more portable, make it more scalable. So uh, people, I think, originally came at it from, this is just a VM, it kind of looks like a VM, smells like a VM, uh, and they'd shove, you know, big two gig Java images into Docker and totally waste the whole point of the thing. Uh, but you're seeing engineers moving, and, and it's actually changing the landscape a little bit. So it used to be IT was the only one that would buy services and tooling for their organization. But now it's coming into the hands of engineers a little bit more because they need more tooling on their end uh, to build their applications. And how do you think that's going to change our industry? Is this, you feel like this is consumer driven and so that's what's driven the industry too? Or is our industry finding more efficient ways to work? What's been your perspective? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. So f I think for as far as the industry goes, you're going to see more engineers making tooling choices and it's going to happen maybe a little bit less often in the IT space. Uh, so there's this kind of idea about being bimodal that the IT, IT side has. Um, and I think bimodal is going to start to change to sort of mean being more connected with the engineering teams. Uh, so it's a little less siloed because these artifacts, when, you, when you're working with a Docker image and you're defining the infrastructure, in essence, you know, with, when you're working with Docker Swarm or Kubernetes, you're, you're doing that. Uh, you actually have a chance to connect that process a little bit stronger. So what are we going to do as marketers? How are we going to identify our audience in this new world, Dan? Uh, there is no way to do it, unfortunately. You can't just say, well, you use Docker, therefore you're my customer, because if you're building an engineering tool or a DevOps tool, all the lines are being blurred right now. And I think you're going to see DevOps focusing most of their energy on production environments and moving away from the testing and engineering phase uh, because that kind of tooling has, it looks a little bit different. Well, I think we're going to have to come back and have this conversation one year from now and see where we are on our prognostications. <laughs> you bet, 100%. <laughs> Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time on Pop-Up Tech Talks.